Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on Gibbs reflective cycle. Now let's start. What is a Gibbs reflective cycle? Graham Gibbs, a sociologist and psychologist, conducted a study called Learn by Doing. It promotes systematic thought among people regarding their experiences of an activity, event or scenario. Gibbs came up with the Gibbs reflective cycle in 1988. It provided a structure to gain knowledge from encounters. The circle model developed by him has six various phases. It simplifies an experience. It helps people ponder over their experiences. The cycle provides a structure for analyzing experiences. Its format is suited to repeated experiences. This lets one gain knowledge from and plan out things that might or might not perform well. For each of the steps, supportive questions need to be answered. These questions can direct oneself about what kind of things need to be included in that stage of the model. Let's start with stage one, that is description. A detailed description of the scenario is done at this point. The primary focus is describing what took place and the conclusions and emotions follow after this. The questions are: first, what took place; second, at what location and time did it happen; third, who all were there; fourth, what were the reactions of those present; and fifth, what resulted from the event. Moving on to stage two, feelings. One can analyze their thoughts and emotions that were experienced during the event. They can analyze how their experience influenced them. The questions in this stage: first, what were the emotions during the experience? Second, what were the emotions leading to and following the experience? Third, how does one feel others felt about the experience? Fourth, what could be the present emotions of others about the event? And finally, what were the thoughts during the event? Moving on to stage three: evaluation. One can analyze what went right and what did not in the event. For maximum results, one should consider negative and positive things about the scenario. The questions in this stage: first, what were the positives of the experience? Second, what were the negatives of the experience? Third, what worked out well? Fourth, what failed to do well? And finally, how did the person and others help out in the scenario? Moving on to stage four: analysis. In the analysis phase, one can figure out what took place. Till this point in time, one paid attention to the specifics of what took place in the experience. In this phase, one can figure out what it meant. The questions in this stage: first, why did things work out? Second, why did it not work out? Third, what sense can be derived from the event? Fourth, what knowledge of the person can assist one in understanding the scenario? And finally, what knowledge of others can assist one in understanding the scenario? Moving on to stage five, that is conclusion. In this phase, one can come to conclusions about the event. At this point, lessons from the phase are summarized. One identifies how actions can be altered to help the future outcome. The questions in this phase: first, what are the lessons to learn from the experience? Second, how could the situation have been better for all the participants? Third, what abilities are required to deal with a similar scenario better? And finally, how else could the event be approached? And moving on to the final stage, that is the action plan. This is when plans are laid out for what might be done differently later on. It is highly beneficial to consider how changing one's action can aid them. A realization is sufficient at times. The questions in this final stage: first, were the scenarios to repeat? Second, how could it be approached differently? Third, how can one get the abilities needed? And finally, how can it be assured that actions are different in the future? So that's it, folks. This brings an end to the topic on Gibbs reflective cycle. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.